Don't adjust your sets. Don't reach for the remote. Ignore all this crap that's on this table. Make no mistake, I, Dirk Jaising, am the new host of Live and Blowing. <laughs> you guys deserve to get platinum entertainment from the get-go. Why do you have to? Dill, Dill, what are you doing, mate? Are you, Dill, I told These you that These aren't the host duties you're looking for. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, apparently, if I don't move, he can't see me. <laughs> Dill, I can see you. I'm still here. I told, we talked about this. I'm the fine, host now. Fine, 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 fine. But um, can I be your number two guy? Yeah, of course, buddy. Of course. Cool. All right. Tonight on the show, we're joined by Collingwood football star, Jared Blair. Hey, Aaron, am I still your second host? Sure, Heyman, sure, buddy. Yeah. All right. There'll also be comedy from Timothy Clark and music from the Zanes. Hey. Uh, Aaron, I, uh... Sure, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the show! <laughs> ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live on Bowen. My name's Aaron McCarthy, I'm your host for this evening, and uh, many of you may well now know that Mr. Robert Lloyd is now safely overseas in Edinburgh and safely out of the studio. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, things, things are going to change now. Things are going to be a little bit different around here. Uh, no longer will the privileges of the hosting role of Live on Bowen be abused. Yes, Rob was having the crew wash his clothes. <laughs> yes, Rob was having the crew cleaning his car. And yes, Rob was having the crew iron his hair. <laughs> All right, now that last one hasn't yet been proven, but we do hope that it will stand up in a court of law. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm different. Uh, the self-indulgence, the silliness, the extravagance of the role, it's gone. Welcome to the new Live on Bowen. Oh, you can clap. Or... Oh, 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 no, 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 girls, please, please. Wait, this is serious now. If you could please just exit off to the, just to the side there. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a huge list of irrational demands. I'm a simple man. Simple but stylish. <laughs> and hence would need some kind of simple but stylish clothing, like a coat made of Tasmanian tiger fur. Yes, I've been to the museum. Yes, I've seen the exhibition of the Tasmanian tiger. They're not doing anything fashionable with it. Transport. I'm going to need some uh, simple but effective transport, and these days I believe a helicopter would be most effective. <laughs> Don't worry, eco nuts, you know, hippies. I mean, I'm sure they've got an electric helicopter these days. <laughs> right? And uh, some refreshments. I'm going to need some kind of refreshments. Uh, you know, it's very, very warm, very hot under these lights. So maybe some ham and jussima vodka would uh, not go astray. <laughs> Squeeze from potatoes. Planted by the ancient shamans, dripped from the hair of a virgin maiden bathing at the top of the Himalayas. <laughs> Bottled in uh, black diamond, if you will. Here's the drink of choice for any uh, distinguished TV presenters. <laughs> One more thing. The wet. No, come on! Uh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, stop, no, seriously, stop. Please, if you could just. One more. Just, uh, just for one, please, guys. If you could just exit. One more thing. The way I'm treated. No more will I be looked at as a mere sex object. I have thoughts, I have feelings, and I demand to be treated with respect. Uh, who am I kidding? Bring on the girls! Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for the news this evening? <laughs> Supposedly, Nando's has been charged with illegally employing 13 foreign workers in its Melbourne restaurants. Nando's? 
You've been peri peri naughty. <laughs> but how disturbing is that? Seriously, having your Portuguese chicken cooked by actual Portuguese people. What's next? Employing Scotsmen at McDonald's? Ugh. You know, like royals at Burger King. Or uh, rednecks at KFC. <laughs> Darn it. If they can't make Portuguese chicken using Portuguese workers, then what will they sell? Bogan burgers? <laughs> travel all the way to Frankston for that. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Mum? <laughs> Australian doctors have been called for the smacking of their kids to be outlawed. Unless they're really, really, really annoying. <laughs> Instead, they've called for the smacking of parents of naughty children. How else will they learn? <laughs> Outraged parents have hit back, <laughs> pardon the pun, <laughs> claiming that thumping a weak miniature human is a great way to relieve stress. <laughs> but seriously, this news really affects me deeply. Stopping that screaming kid at the movies just got that little bit harder. <laughs> e and speaking of young ones, two from two, <laughs> speaking of young ones, Prince Harry says he's going to teach his new nephew how to have fun. Let's hope he, made, he means playing Connect Four, because getting an infant high, Prince Harry, is wrong. <laughs> Kate remarked that the baby is a good sleeper. <laughs> no, 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 he's drunk. <laughs> but Harry isn't totally irresponsible. He's been helping dress baby George. Yes, he's already picked him out a cute little Nazi onesie. <laughs> Uh, former Neighbour star Kim Valentine is suing her former show for pain, hurt and humiliation. The producers responded saying, it's part of the job description. <laughs> because that's when good neighbours become good friends. Keep your lawnmower, sleep with your wife and run over your cat. <laughs> I'll tell you something for nothing. I'm glad I never knew the pain, the hurt and the humiliation of being on a show like Neighbours. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm finished. Fix your attitude or you'll be looking for another job. You can go. They said what happens on Ramsey Street stays on Ramsey Street! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a big show coming up. And you can also check us out online. Here's how. Missed last week's episode because you were living under a rock? Or did you miss season one because your head was in the sand? Well, throw caution to the wind and visit our website at liveonbowen.com or put in your two cents and jump on our Facebook or Twitter to join the conversation. Right now, it is time for another instalment of Caption This. Last week, we asked you to caption this picture. Ah, okay, and here are the winners. First up, we have Heyman Kent with Darn Youths and Their Guns. <laughs> Next is Bob Lloyd with his caption, He has wonderful muscles. <laughs> and next we have Sonia Lucas with Wanted. <laughs> Serial muscle flexor Aaron McCarthy. No one's safe from his flexing. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Uh, and the winner is Tim Burns with I'm going to need a really, I'm going to need a really big ball of yarn for the sweater I'm knitting you. <laughs> if you want to be a winner like Tim, head over to Facebook this week to caption next week's image. And here it is. <laughs> okay, Tim, you've won my expired gym membership. It's expired uh, so much that you'll put on weight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have uh, no, we don't. Unf we don't have Heyman. Uh, okay. Uh, Heyman's been grounded by her parents this week for uh, last week's Harry Potter comment about slithering into random boys' beds. So, <laughs> filling in, please welcome Nana Kent. She calls me a spinster. What? What? Huh? Oh, a swindler. Well, that's worse. <laughs> she got it into her freakishly tall head that just because I'm old, I get away with everything. Well, let me tell you, you 
something. I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, had, she had the nerve to say that senior citizens are out of touch with technology. <clears throat> well, well, I joined the Book of Faces to keep up to date with my grandkids. <laughs> they were all saying I should be more hip, but I said I've already had one of them done. I don't want to have the other replace. <laughs> So they gave me an old computer with Windows 98 on it. I said if I was interested in crashing, I'd have kept my driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> so, they, so they tell me, get an Apple Mac. Get an Apple Mac, Gran. I said, I've got a Sarah Lee in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> you greedy guts. Anyway, they got me a mobile telephonic device as well the other week. And so I'm going, go, yeah, thanks, kids. For all, in case I got lost between the lazy boy and the toilet. <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to stand up now, please. Could you, yeah, 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 you help me, please. Sorry. Quick, I want to stand up. Yeah. Yeah. A bit lower. Oh, you're touching me, bossy. Sorry. A bit lower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, roll, yeah. hey. Oh. oh, look at that boss. <laughs> Still PG. <laughs> now, where was I? Uh, seriously. Where am I? Uh, no, okay. no, that's right. <laughs> Young people are little shits. <laughs> My grandson, Jeremy Llewellyn, bought his lady friend over the other day. She said, what a lovely house you had. So I made a mental note to cut Jeremy Llewellyn out of my will so the bitch gets nothing. <laughs> then she complimented me on my dress. What do you know about clothes, you fool? You're not wearing any. <laughs> I don't sit down now. <laughs> then the other weekend, my daughter was going to a retreat to try and distress herself. What? What? Ah, oh, what? De-stress? Oh. What do you need a de-stress for? Are you living through a depression? Have, have you been so poor you had to eat toenail clippings and tree bark for a month? <laughs> and we didn't have water, so we had to drink the tears of our starving dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have no comedy films either at the pictures, so we'd find a family of Italians and laugh at their silly talk. <laughs> that was our Charlie Chaplin. Anyway, you youngins think we've got it easy, because all we do is sit around and fart all day. Well, well, I worked hard to get where I am. When I was nine, I worked 25 hours a day in a knick-knack factory. They'd beat you if you work too slow, whip you if you work too fast, and they'd shoot you for smiling. Then we think of for it. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> <coughs> my next point is uh, <laughs> my next point is the next time this Heyman or any of you youngins try to tell us chronologically impaired folk we have it easy, try this. Work out for three hours at the gymnasium so you saw all over. You blast the music of that Jessica Bieber so, so you're angry and you can't sing straight. <laughs> then, then tie your shoelaces together so you can't walk. Anywhere, oh, I mean, and then drink a bottle of laxatives. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very much like the signature live on Bowen Post Show, Drinks and Hangover. Thank you, Nana Kent. Coming up after the break, I attempt to find love on Bowen Street <laughs> with some of my very best pickup maneuvers. You're watching live on Bowen. Summer. Summer.